Asian Kitchen in Tampa during Gasparilla Weekend, and we happened to be lucky enough to sit down with the owner, Lisa Larkin, who is, uh, this, this is so great, this, this place. It's, it's a fast, fresh Asian concept. Yes, exactly. Tell us a little bit about that and what your inspiration is. Okay, so our family has been in the sushi business for a long time, and we wanted to do something that was quick service, mm -hmm. fresh, cooked to order, and homemade, basically. So we took all of our favorite flavors from across Asia, and we created a menu that we felt like uh, would be something that would be fun and healthy and yummy and a little different for the Tampa Bay area. We really have tried to hit all the favorites across some of your Asian restaurants that you typically see in the United States. Like we've got a Vietnamese style pho, we have a Japanese ramen, we have a pad thai, a lo mein, a fried rice. We've got some fun flavors from Korea that are on our menu. Um, so we really have just tried to keep it casual and fun and light. Mm -hmm. and delicious. And you have just been open, what, six weeks? Yes, we're going on our sixth week. We moved to Tampa in 1989 and we're very lucky to be on the south side of Gandhi at this Ooh. location. Uh, so we have a lot of people from the neighborhood that come in, we have a lot of people from the Air Force Base that come in. Um, so yeah, we really kind of have turned into a little bit of a neighborhood joint, which has been nice. And it's so great. This, this mural here is so great. Tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, so this mural was inspired by obviously Bayshore Boulevard and the Gasparilla Pirates. Um, so we tried to bring a little bit of South Tampa into the restaurant and try to do a little Asian um, cartoon twist on some really fun things about our city. Well, I think we're doing things a little bit differently. So we're smoking, so you might get a little bit of sense of like barbecue because we have a smoker. We've been working really hard on developing some fun flavors with a beef brisket and doing a little Asian twist on that and some um, smoking our uh, pork belly. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, so it is a, a little bit different. We make all of our sauces in house. We make all of our um, pickles in house. We're doing everything fresh, made to order right here. She has just made me so hungry. <laughs> and I think that we ought to try some delicious things on the menu. So that's what we're off to do. Thank you so much. If, if people are coming to the area for Gasparilla, or just visiting or uh, are in the neighborhood, part of that military base, how, how can they find you? They can find us on Bayshore Boulevard, headed south down past the sidewalk where it ends, and then it veers off toward uh, McDill. It's 5145 South Bayshore Boulevard, and we're here waiting to serve you. And you're also on Instagram, because that's, I mean, some of those pictures of the food we're about to try, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So we'll post links to your website and your Instagram so people who are not local who might be traveling will totally be able to check out Asian Kitchen. Yeah. Lisa, thank you so much for taking time to talk with us. Thank you. Thanks for coming to see us. We appreciate it. All right. Let's eat. <laughs>